the What's up guys, we're here in the hotel, got the powerlifting competition in the morning, weighed in this morning, weighed in at 88.9 kilograms, which is about 196 pounds. Well, I just got the email with the flights for tomorrow. I'm in the third of four I'm in the third of four flights and I'm looking pretty good from what I'm seeing on the flights here just based off of the openers. Squat, which is my weakest of the three. I'm kind of like in the middle of the pack, maybe just barely above halfway. My opener is 180 kg. And then my planned jumps is to go to 187 and a half, and then either 195 or 197 and a half. And again, of course, those numbers will always be subject to change depending on how tomorrow goes. My bench, which is my best of the three lifts, I am the heaviest in my weight class uh, for my opener by about 15 pounds, so I'm pretty happy with that. My opener is 147.5 kg, and then my planned first jump is to 155 kg, and then to 157.5 kg. And my main thing there is I want to go three for three on my bench. I did miss my third lift in my last competition on bench and did not do quite as well as I wanted to there, and I kind of missed out on my best lift there, so hopefully I'm gonna make up for that here. And then on my deadlift, I was five kg away from being tied with the heaviest opener. There's two guys that are uh, five kg heavier. Uh, and I do make a little bit bigger jumps with my deadlift, so hopefully we can make up some ground there. Opening at 215, then the planned jump is to 222 and a half, and then to either 230 or 232 and a half. Uh, and then depending on how it feels, I might even could bump it another two and a half after that. Again, we'll see. I feel like we're in a pretty good spot just based off the openers and the jumps that I have planned. Now, when I do competitions, I don't necessarily pay attention to how other people are doing in the competition. I'm mainly just worried about my next lift. I don't really care where anyone else is at. I'm just there to, you know, lift as heavy as I can and I don't even care what other people are doing. And then however I place is however I place. Now, as I get more experience in the sport of powerlifting, maybe that'll change. Maybe I will start to pay attention to other people's lifts and try to be a little bit more strategic with my jumps and things like that to, you know, try to, you know, medal and stuff like that. But I think tomorrow we're in a pretty good spot to hopefully get a top three finish based on the openers that we have. And then I will let you know how it goes, of course, after the meet. Getting into the meat recap, this was a very, very long meat. By the time it was all said and done, it was like 10 hours, nine and a half, 10 hours. Started off pretty well. I did, in a way, better than I wanted to on squat. I opened up, hit my opener easy, hit the second attempt pretty easy, but my back started to get a little bit stiff on me. You know, I'm not completely satisfied with the squat because I wasn't able to do as much as I wanted to. I wanted to either hit 195 or 197 and a half kg. I ended up hitting one, uh, 192 and a half kg on squat. So that is a meat PR. I'm happy with that. That's like 20, 30 pounds more than I did last time. So that's, that's good, even though I didn't get exactly what I wanted to. Moving into the bench, the bench was the worst lift of the day for me and for a lot of people. This was a very long meet and there were a lot of people by the time bench rolled around that were also getting a little bit tired and there was a lot of missed lifts on bench today. I got my, my opener, which was 147 and a half kg, which was 325 pounds. I got it easily, but the carpet on the platform wasn't stapled down good at all. There was only four screws on the whole platform, just one screw in every corner, and my foot slipped on the carpet because the carpet itself, or my foot didn't slip, the carpet itself actually moved. 
and I got a I got one red light because of that because I kind of dipped on one side so I got a good lift and I went ahead and made a bigger jump than I should have I wanted to jump up to 155 kg and finish off with 157 and a half kg which would have put me at a slight PR of that's 347 pounds something like that the 155 that I ended up failing on the second attempt because I got in my head and was thinking about the freaking carpet and was moving my feet around trying to get the slack out of the carpet and all this other kind of garbage and thinking about that instead of the lift itself and I failed 155 which is like I don't know somewhere like 135 or excuse me 335 pounds I think which I've done in in the basement a million times <laughs> so I wasn't very happy about that I stayed there went out for the third attempt same weight and whiffed it again by that point I was so in my head and also tired from having failed the second attempt that it, it didn't even budge it wasn't close so I only went one for three on bench which was disappointing but I think that is still tied with where I did in my last meet so that's that's fine I guess and then moving into the deadlifts deadlifts felt good opened up with 215 went super super easy jumped up to 222 and a half super super easy and my last attempt I went up to 232 and a half kg and they actually put it in wrong when I read it off to them they actually put it in as 235 and I went backstage and I came back out and had them to fix it and then I told myself backstage I was like if I hit 232 and a half easy I'm gonna be so mad that I had them change it and sure enough I went out there and just I mean it was almost like a warm-up it was like an 8 RPE 232 and a half kg which was 512 pounds it, it wasn't even a challenge and so I was like oh, I wish I would have left it in at 235 um, but that left me with a 572 and a half kg total which is 1262 pounds which is about it's 28 pounds better than I did to the last meet so meet PRs on two of three lifts got the same as my my last meet on bench and that was good enough for a third place finish and if yeah, I w if I did that weight in the last meet, I think it would have been good enough for a first place finish. So it's just, you know, whoever shows up that day. I'm not complaining. I'm very happy. Got first place in the bench only, which full disclosure, just, just to be fair, I was the only person that entered bench only. So if everyone's bench was considered, I actually would have gotten second. So had the second best bench of any 90 kg for the day. So I'm pretty happy about that but I won by default. Overall, pretty happy. Um, did it all with giant holes in my toes. <laughs> I might put a picture of that up on screen if you're squeamish, look away right now. Um, but all, all considering, and the fact that I was exhausted and still did that well, I'm pretty happy with this meet. You know, next meet, when I don't have giant holes in my toes, where I had something removed from my toe. We'll, it, we'll, we'll be able to get a full good training cycle in. We'll be a little bit more conservative on the bench jumps next time and hopefully hit that 1300 total. But that's gonna be it for this video. As always, God bless you and your family and we'll see you next week. Ryan Treadway. Second place in that division was Francis Tyon.